Embedded C and Embedded Systems Interview Question and Answer Part 7. If you want to follow us in any of these social media groups, you can follow us. And if you want to subscribe to our channel, you can follow both the channel Embedded World as well as Learn Automotive. In the Learn Automotive, you will be uh, bring more about OBD protocol than system level working of the car with each and every components in a sequence. Alright, so in this video tutorial, yes, there will be more common question in Embedded C. So it will really helpful if you know the exact statement to be answered. First one is how to use a variable in a source file which is defined in another source file. By using extern keyword, it can be declared a variable which allows accessing the variable in another file. So by using the extern keyword, you can uh, declare the variable. This if say for example, if you have one file here, if you have another file here, if you want to access some variable within this file, you can just use the extern keyword so that this can be accessible from this. That's it. So it's a straight definition, right? How do you write a code for an infinite loop? An infinite loop is a main component of an embedded application which is used to run an application all time. So if any embedded uh, components, any embedded equipment is running uh, for the reason is the infinite loop. So for that, what is the syntax? An infinite loop can be coded by using this double semicolon or using a while loop also. So here we have given the double semicolon. So it's a main program and for you can use the double semicolon then print run so it will it will run forever until the program stops so in the same way you can uh, run whatever you want you, whatever you want to run infinite so you can uh, put it in the for inside the for loop then it will keep on run until the program stops like if you switch on the infinite loop keep on running until it will uh, it will run until if you switch off the particular device so that's what the significance of infinite loop what is the volatile keyword the volatile keyword is a type qualifier that prevents an object from the compiler optimization. According to C standard, an object has a volatile qualified type may be modified in ways unknown to the implementation or have other unknown side effects. So in simple, I can tell what exactly the volatile is. It used to reload the value from the memory each and every time. So each time it will keep on, it will keep on change. That's a volatile memory, right? So if you, if you heard about the volatile memory, it will keep on change. Non-volatile is somewhat constant, but volatile, it will keep on change in every time whenever you're accessing the program. So for example, uh, you can, um, you can check the ticket counter, you know, in, uh, in ISCTC website or in any of the PBR cinemas app. If you check the ticket or, or, or is the ticket availability now, you can check there will be remaining tickets like uh, you know 300 or 400 in railways or uh, it's a 15 or 20 in, uh, in a cinema ticket after some uh, two or three minutes if you check it will be changed because there will be some users may purchase the ticket all right so that is called that that the particular ticket uh, counts will be in the volatile form so each and every time it will keep on change if any any changes happen so that's what all volatile keyword and uh, which uses the volatile memory all right so reading the value from the memory is the only way to check the unpredictable change of the value so we have to uh, read the value so that you can come to know what exactly the change is next one is what is the use of volatile keyword so the volatile keyword so yes of course we have seen what exactly the volatile keyword is and here what is the volatile what is the use of volatile keyword so where we can use so the volatile keyword is being uh, used mainly deal with the gpio that is general process input output interrupt and flag registers so these are all having acknowledges the uh, you know the particular variable in the memory with the temper the temporarily all right so it is also used where the global variables or the buffer is shared between the threads what is const qualifier in c it's a constant it's a kind of constant you can say so const keyword is the compiler enforced and says that the program could not change it should be constant all right Cons, uh, it could not change the value of the object that means it makes the object non modifiable type example const int a equal to 0 so it will not modify inside the program until otherwise some external factors comes and disturbs all right so that's you have to so of course this const keyword can be changeable if some external uh, factors comes into picture until that the program will never change its value so if you try to modify the value a you will get the compiler error because a is qualified with the const keyword that prevents change the value of the integer variable next question 
can variable be both constant and volatile as you have seen the previous slides volatile is nothing but changing every time if any any changes happens constant is nothing but the constant is nothing but the constant which never changes for example value a so the question is can a variable be both constant and the volatile in c yes we can use both constant and volatile together but how see one of the greatest use of the volatile and const keyword together is the time of accessing gpio registers in case of GPIO, its value can be changed by the external factors. That's what I have seen. Uh, if a switch or any output device is attached with the GPIO, if it is configured as an input, then at that time you can change the particular variable. See, in this situation, the volatile plays an important role and ensures that compiler always read the value from the GPIO address and avoid to make any assumption. So that's what uh, the main significance of and uh, this constant volatile has played a major role in the embedded systems. Alright, so I hope you learned something in this video. You can watch the complete playlist that is uh, embedded question and answer uh, programming on the embedded C. Alright, so you can like, share and subscribe. If you are not subscribed, you can also subscribe to our channel Learn Automotive as well. So there are a lot and lot yet to come. You can follow in any of this forum. Alright, so catch you in the next video. Until then, bye, take care.